Okay, we're going to get started. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to the Committee of the City Council's Parks and Recreation Committee. We are going to be voting today on Intro 629A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to the length of the season for city beaches and pools, which historically closed on Labor Day. But in an era of global warming, sadly, the first week of September can often be very hot. Uh, as we witnessed yesterday, today it's raining, so not a good beach day. But we want our city's young people and families to have access to these very healthy resources. Um, and the week after Labor Day, when school is sometimes out, as it was yesterday, um, and it, it's, it's great for our health. And it's an outlet for people who can't afford to go to Miami or the Hamptons. So there's a real equity component in these wonderful free resources. And I'm pleased that we are going to be voting today on the bill that will enshrine this in law, an extension of the beach and pool season to the Sunday beyond Labor Day. So I'm going to pause for a moment and see if any of my colleagues have any comments. Yes, Council Member Traeger. Thank you very much, Chair, uh, for your leadership on, on this issue. Uh, I'm proud to be a co-sponsor. The one issue I would just take note uh, for the Parks Department uh, moving forward is that already uh, I've gotten feedback from residents in my district who uh, love Coney Island Beach and also Brighton Beach, too, uh, that a number of the lifeguards that the Parks Department hires, they're college students, and their college semesters begin uh, sometimes in early August. And when, so when they go back to school and there's no lifeguard there at that beach section, they close off that section. And so I, I get complaints from a lot of residents that they, they're closing off section after section after section. And so even if we extend the beach season, uh, is the Parks Department fully equipped with staff to uh, provide these services to our residents? So I just want to just make a note of that. And hopefully they can work out a way where they make the jobs more appealing and attractive uh, to a broader universe and, and to pay them good wages and other things. Of course, we want to hire college kids, high school seniors as well, but, you know, staffing issue uh, remains to be a problem. Thank you, Chair. It, it's a great point, and they've struggled with that, as you see on Coney Island. Uh, you can't open a beach at all if you don't have lifeguards because that's, that's uh, a threat to, to safety. Uh, and the bill does give the Parks Department the ability to not open uh, in case of severe weather or safety issues that could be precipitated by lack of staffing. We should do more to recruit from local college students. There are so many in the city. And we should make sure the jobs pay better so we can attract better talent and keep them. So very good point. All right. I think I'm going to ask uh, Billy Martin, the committee clerk, to call the roll. Lee Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Parks and Recreation, Introduction 629A, Chair Levine. Vote aye. Cabrera. I'm number two on this bill, so I'll vote aye. I'm more than glad to vote aye. Thank you so much. Mizell. Yes. Traeger. Aye. My vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you, Clerk. And if we could keep the roll open for 20 minutes.